In this video, we're going to understand how condensation actually takes place. We're going to go a little deeper. A very simple form of condensation is get a bottle of cold water from the fridge, keep it outside for some time, you'll see water droplets starts to form on the outer surface of the bottle. So what do you think is happening? Since the bottle has cold water inside, naturally the bottle itself will be cold. Now we know that there is moisture in the air which is also called as humidity. If we look at the outer surface of the bottle very closely, air molecules in the surrounding constantly hits the outer surface of the bottle from all direction. Since the bottle is cold, the air right next to the bottle gets colder. So that means the air which already has moisture cannot hold any more water when it is closer to the surface of the bottle. And that's how moisture or water vapor transforms into liquid droplets. Now this is a tiny example but the process is same in the formation of clouds and rainfall. Now the next interesting question to think about is what is inside of this water droplet? Or in other words, what is holding the water together in the shape of a drop? Now the answer to that question is it is because of hygroscopic condensation nuclei. I know it's a big term but it is fairly easy to understand. If you study particle physics, in that if you have to understand the substructure of a material in decreasing form that is from bigger to smaller, it goes something like this. At first we have a solid block. This could be any object you see around you. And then we have molecules that together give structure to the solid block. Then if we go further, molecules are formed when two or more atoms are combined together. An atom is the smallest unit of matter. Inside an atom, you will find subatomic particles like protons, electrons and neutrons. Now a combination of these subatomic particles form nucleus. That means the nucleus is the center of an atom. And the plural form of nucleus is nuclei. So basically everything that we see around us comes down to this single particle called nuclei. Therefore when water droplets are formed during condensation, there is a central nuclei that holds the water together in the form of a drop. So what is this nuclei? Well these are nothing but extremely tiny particles of dust, smoke and salt of the ocean. There is a term given to it. It's called aerosol. Now this aerosol has an amazing property of attracting and holding water molecules from the surrounding environment. That's how they get the name hygroscopic. So if at all anyone asks you what is there inside a water droplet or what is it that is holding the water together in the shape of a drop then you should be able to say that there are tiny particles of dust, smoke and salt which have the property to absorb water molecules from the surrounding environment. So this is what is hygroscopic condensation nuclei. I hope this concept is clear in terms of my explanation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.